hope you didn't expect to come back dry. <laughs> Wildlife above and below the ocean are really the highlight of this episode. Who needs a bigger boat when you have kayaks to take you places? Even when the wind makes the ocean just a tad choppy. short paddle across the channel to Wallace Island and both seals and fish came out to say hello. Oh, oh it's a seal. It's a seal playing. Been kayaking along eating my PB and J. Oh, and before you go, I need to introduce you to my new friend, Herschel. <laughs> Hi, and welcome if you're new here. Hey, my name is Flossie. I'm a photographer, amateur freediver with a passion for the ocean. Thanks for joining me, and I'd really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you don't miss an episode. I hope you enjoy the vlogs, build projects and explorations of the oceans, lakes and forests just as much as I enjoyed making them. Oh yeah, out here you're definitely riding and this is quiet, see? For, like, this harbour can get really windy. You can see the uh, Coast Guard boat, the red one out in front of us. Yeah, that colour, the red and white, is Coast Guard. Hope you didn't expect to come back dry. <laughs> on the lakes a couple of times, so not heaps because I've been swimming more than I've been kayaking. Oh, I love swimming. <laughs> You're welcome. Your butt is so wet. <laughs> yeah, because there's holes. Thanks. <laughs> Here, and we went boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. The two. Here. It's pretty good. Well, the story goes that the island has been owned for a long time by some sort of crazy animal scientist. And for a while there was penguins living on the island. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I think it is. And then people just kept coming to see the penguins. Obviously the penguins weren't very happy because penguins don't really live here. <laughs> And so the penguins got rehomed. Um, and then he brought exotic snakes and reptiles to the island to try. And like they're still unsure whether it's true or whether it's a rumor just to keep people off the island. I love stories like that. All right, what does the sign say? Shelby? Do I need reading glasses? I'm not wearing my reading glasses. No trespassing. Something, something, something area. Yes. Do I see the word big? I think I saw the big. What did it say before snake though? Something snake breeding area. Oh my god. <laughs> Exotic snake breeding area. Holy fucking shit. I want to go too close, Lauren. <laughs> on the, sh the shore and then all these snakes pop out of nowhere and come and eat it? No. That's what I'm picturing, they're all gonna pop out of different <laughs> That's insane, 
exotic snake breeds. So what are they like? Anacondas? I don't know. Cobras? I don't know. It's pretty funny. Rattlesnakes aren't exotic, so at least there's no rattlesnakes, right? <laughs> no gardener snakes? I don't know. Hopefully the snakes can't swim. I don't know. Let's go on the inside of this little... Hey, before we go, yeah. before, we get, before we get out into the wild. Are those snake eggs on the rocks? <gasps> They're snake eggs. Oysters, oysters. Definitely snake eggs. Oysters. <laughs> I'm a fucking brat. Oh, the plane boat is on a plane boat. Okay, you want to get a little bit? Yeah. Or a seaplane, not a, a plane boat. <laughs> but I like that term. Go a plane boat. <laughs> Hey, I think that's why he's just chilling out. Oh, oh, hi. I can't tell if it's interested in us or scared. I would come pet you, but I know it's against the law. <laughs> what? They don't know. Won't know. Oh, you. Oh, okay. You can go in the water. We'll back up. I'm sorry. You stay there. You stay there, you chill. We respect you, you respect us. Oh, oh, you're so bashful. You want me to bring you a beer later? A cider? You like a cider, okay, cider it is. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I wasn't close enough for that. Oh, they really are just water dogs, eh? Yes, they so are water dogs. It's like the sun's bright in my eyes. Where's Island? No. It does look a bit swollen, doesn't it? No, I hope you rest up okay. Thanks for giving us a great day. Give us a little dab. What do their bottoms look like? It looks like there's three different little fins. That someone was having a real fire. We're being responsible and had a propane fire. Yeah. Irresponsible human. It's not worth it. No. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, exactly. So, Shelby, how was your swim? Oh, it was good. It was good. Just want to say, I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> Wait. Let's see, maybe the one on this side fared better. <laughs> Here, did you say you wanted some water for this? Those are the fucking trash. I could bring out more. <laughs> you're, you're looking at the damp there. Do you want some more water? <laughs> Several days later. After some small local kayak trips, I headed out on a slightly longer day trip. This time packing into the kayak a picnic lunch and all my dive gear. So to get this onto a yeah, you just, just build it by the bit, get it around there. <laughs> what do you have? Anything better? Like I mean what do you have more? Does it seal better on your it seals. I yeah. it can barely get it on and off though. Oh yeah. Oh, so you got the same sort of idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See those drops? Yeah. Straight in the eye. Oh, here. <laughs> A 
accompanied by a fellow swimming friend and meeting a seal and a sea lion along the way. There he is. There he is. Unfortunately, I missed filming this when it jumped right up in front of us as we were kayaking across the channel. I think we should um, I think it's a good idea. We headed to Wallace Island Marine Park an island which is nestled smack in between Salt Spring <laughs> Island and Galliano Island. Oh, hope not either. It didn't take us long to pedal across a small channel, and once arriving we met others who'd pedaled from the nearby islands to camp on this beautiful marine there park. There we go. <laughs> from a wreck of an old truck to a picnic shelter that has been decorated with homemade signs from visitors carved in driftwood. It's got some beautiful camp spots and protected bays filled with kingfishers and seals. The kingfisher! It's a seal playing. It's pretty neat. We wrestled on our swimming gear and jumped into the ocean. The murkiness of the summer water is slowly starting to clear as the temperature drops into fall. What I loved most about swimming here to compare to the sheltered bays I normally swim in is how the waves move the seaweed as if they were blowing in the wind. With urchins and purple starfish galore, I was curious to see what would be different between this island and some of our usual swimming spots. Out of practice diving.
And then I happened upon it. In the red corner, we have Colin McCrab. And in the blue, we have Steve McClaw. Who will be the victor today, folks? Sheila, she's not sticking around to find out. She makes a break for it up the bleachers. McClaw lays a good solid punch to the upper shell. McCrab dodges well and repositions for another round. There's a standoff, folks. Who will swing first? There's a middle school outing for these perch, but not many of them are interested in contact sports these days. Sheila is still pretty pissed at the boys and isn't having a bar of their nonsense. The camera is zooming in for a close-up. You can almost see the determination on their brows as they stare each other down. Who will break first? Ooh, and it's McCrab is out. He's down. McClaw scuttles in to secure his victory. He did it. Claw, how does it feel to come out claws up, sir? Will you be taking on another round next week? What will you do with the prize money? Oh, my crab. Sorry, it just wasn't your day today. You're still a favorite around these parts, though, I hear. Professor Calamity has nothing to say about today's match, unfortunately, and has declined an on-camera interview. Much, much later.
ready for the trip back? Yes. Make sure we don't forget our wet weather, our wetsuit gear. Let's not forget our wetsuit gear. Um, that rock should be named Sea Lion Rock. Hi. Been kayaking along eating my PB and J. That's beautiful. That was just sticking out of the rocks before. And that wasn't too bad. Like it was choppy, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, this is just glassy. On the way back, the ocean was like glass. The sea lion followed us a little bit and we were happy, tired and ready to rest our weary bodies. Don't go just yet. You have to meet my friend back home, remember? Two hours later. Here are my friends. That's Bambi. Bambi's a rebellious teenager and isn't really interested in saying hi. So this is Herschel. She's a regular around these parts, especially right where the blackberries have been within tongue's reach all summer. Mmm, yum yum. Herschel wants you to know that her name comes from the root word for deer in Hebrew or Yiddish. If you get a look, make sure you check out my good side too, dear. Don't you think I have a great profile? Hey, Herschel. Great seeing you again today. Great catching up. Have a safe evening, okay? I'll let you know if I hear about the cougar on the news to look out for out there, okay? Bye.
little buddy. There he goes. <laughs>